Hey there, I'm Mr. Terry, a high school history teacher and licensed geography teacher. Welcome back to another reaction video. All right, it has literally been years since I have checked out and this video has come to my attention. I thought it'd be fun to check out. It's called how to piss off every country in the world. All right, original video link is down below. Please support them. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Sub to the channel if you haven't and be sure to enable notifications because there has been a problem getting the videos out to your attention. All right, let's check this out. All right, I'm not checking out this video because I want to be able to piss off the, you know, entire world, but I, I don't know, maybe we can break up some stereotypes. Let's check it out. Two things. These are all jokes. Calm down. And second, yeah. you can get Geography Now merch like this Geography Now t-shirt or Geography Now mug at geographynow.com. Now let's do this. And the Geography Now buff body. Eh? eh? So how are the ladies in your country? Oh, don't you have some cousins in that southern Serbia place? I forgot what it's called. It's like a K. Oh, this cool. Oh my gosh. They went, he's going really hard. I thought it would be a little bit more lighthearted. Okay, we got the women and suppression of women there under least Taliban rule. And then uh, Albania with, you know, the Kosovo and uh, oh my, whoa. Okay, I did not do it. Okay, what's Algeria? Couscous is so good. Did you get it from Morocco? Also, come on, you can be <laughs> honest. You're just using the Sahrawi people, aren't you? So oh aren't you just like the Walmart version of Switzerland? Wow, congratulations <laughs> on having the think world's of it most that expensive way. city. <laughs> All the people in your country must be rich. Oh, I just love- Okay, okay, we can't just make fun of the, okay, that's not okay, you're poor or whatever. Just, you can't make, just make fun of poverty. It's gotta be something, it's gotta be something like more intentional, I feel like, to make it, funnier otherwise it's just hacky you know all right what are they saying about the argentina argentines having the world's most expensive city all the people in your country must be rich oh i just loved my most recent visit to the falkland islands <laughs> have you been there it's marvelous oh my goodness you were right mount ararat is beautiful i can see it from your capital oh my god no wonder why you name all your products after it do you want to go there with me i want to check it out good day mate how are your? Would you like some marmite with the on shrimps on your shrimps on the barbie? Dingo ate your baby. Okay. I'm just kidding, man. Pass me a Foster's. I love your national beer. Man, I didn't realize he had nothing. He had nothing for the Australians. Nothing or nor. All right, Austria. Hitler joke incoming. Oh, baby. I'm just kidding, man. Pass me a Foster's. I love your national beer. Man, I didn't realize there were so many Germans here. Like, okay, well, where's all the koalas and kangaroos and Robert and Bindi? Irwin? Australia oh, joke? Man, I'm really hearing a lot of good things about this Artsakh place. I want to see those historical churches. Why are your neighbors saying oh. Allah has no eyes in Bahrain? And why are so many Saudis visiting you on the weekends? So you have <laughs> a higher population than Russia, yet yep. the lowest tourism rate per capita in Asia. You call yourself Belarus. Bangladesh is a interesting place, right? Created with the partition of India to basically be a home for, uh, uh, Indi I mean, Indian is such a broad term, but um, Indian Muslims. And a lot of people don't know it is one of the top, uh, I forget where it ranks exactly. It's what, top five in um, population in the world. It's enormous. And uh, if you've been paying attention to the news, there's been some pretty crazy stuff going on there politically. Look into it. Bruce, Revolution. But like the majority of your population doesn't even speak Belarusian. You literally host a capital of the- <laughs> They're baby Russian. Do you think you would have fixed these roads by now? Ooh, <laughs> check it out. It's the voodoo triplets. Ooh, what are you going to do? Cast a spell on me? Ooh. Well, watch out. He's got a potion. You say- you Okay, voodoo is so misunderstood. Have you ever actually looked into voodoo? It's a lot more interesting and different than you think. That is a cool flag for Bhutan. It does violate the simplicity rule that I have, but yeah. By the way, we had a flag making competition. Um, I did a live stream uh, uh, where I revealed the winners, but you can also, if that video is not up, uh, check out on the Discord, it's really cool. You don't measure your economy by GDP, but rather by a happiness scale index. Dude, just admit it, you're broke. No, hey, you wanna what? Money's not happiness. Bhutan, I do not want you to stop doing that. Don't stop. Go to the beach today? Ooh. Landlocked. Sorry. So you insist on writing things in three separate ways, but when spoken, they are literally the exact same thing. Hey, can I have some diamonds? <laughs> I heard you give out free diamonds. Give me some of those diamonds. Hey, not free. You know me? I'm trying to remember what happened in the 2014 World Cup. Yeah. And also, you guys must be so proud of your favorite player, Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> so, I mean, you guys... <laughs> People always think he's Brazilian. He's European. All right. He speaks Portuguese. He's, por you know, from Portugal. But, dude, they went double hard on Brazil. Brazil has never recovered from the 7-1 loss to Germany, have they? I like the Brunei flag, too. I mean, I, the, the symbol, like, not so great, but I like the, 
kind of like the colors and Those stuff. are ethnically Malay and you speak Malay, so you're Malaysians, right? Oh my goodness, this Greek <laughs> yogurt is amazing. It's the best ever. Have oh. you tried it? Sorry, what'd you say? I don't, I don't speak Russian. It's oh. been about 47 minutes. So what is that? Like three coup d'etats and four presidents? Oh or... gosh. Why can't you be more hey, like your brother? Hey, hey, I do usually show sympathy because of the post-colonial, the effects of colonialism in Africa. But yeah, some of them have gone hardcore in the coups and the <laughs> political inst instability. But yes, Bulgaria? What? That's not their flag. Have you tried it? Sorry, what'd you say? I don't, I don't speak Russian. It's been about 47 minutes. So what is that? Like three coup d'etats and four presidents or... Why can't you be more like your brother Rwanda? Look at him all clean cut with a job. Oh, no, oh, can I step here? Oh, oh. Did you metal detect it yet? Oh, can I step here? Oh, oh, oh. Now that is supposed... Cam with Cambodia, um, it's supposed to be Angkor Wat, right? In their flag. That is very complicated. So the simplicity rule that I kind of ascribe to for flag is a child should be able to recreate it. If it if it doesn't, it's it's got it's too complicated, and th therefore doesn't create as much of a uh, simplistic connection. Oh, look at the adorable little Buddhist monk. I'm gonna rub the top of his head. So your English speaking people are arguing against your French speaking people, even though neither language is indigenous to your country. Bro, just stop. And. Do they all hate Joel Embiid now? Because not only was he not playing for France or Cameroon, he went to play for the United States. All right, Canada, I like your flag. I like it. The Maple Leafs cool, simple, clean. Okay, you're basically Americans. Maybe the Frenchies in Quebec can be like a territory of the U.S., but like <laughs> you can quit the act, you're American. So like <laughs> none of you guys are actually indigenous to your own country. Hey, you, how's... Uh, that would be slavery. Um, the indigenous peoples of the entire Caribbean basically uh, uh, obliterated with disease, uh, with, you know, smallpox and things that came over uh, and replaced by slave labor. So there you go. Man, I'm getting, I'm getting a, a good like refresher on flags. I do not remember this flag, but I kind of like it. I want to know though, what does the red symbolize? Let me know if you know what that means. Cause it's gotta mean something. Cause it's so like abrupt and, and you know, in that flag. But even if it didn't have the red flag, I think I would like that. The constant guerrilla warfare. I can't do this. I visited and it's like kicking someone who's already down. Come on, oh. Central Africa. Oh, he went Public. there? I hope you get better. Hey, how's that lake that you are literally named oh, after? Lake Chad's Ugh. gone. Oh, you know, I just See, I remember as a kid, like Lake Chad being so big that in lake maps. lake that you are literally named after. Ugh. Like, yeah, and now it's evaporated to, like, nothing. It's kind of sad. Uh, one of my favorite things to do, I do it almost nightly, is go on Google uh, Google Earth on my iPad when I'm just, like, laying in bed. I, I do it almost nightly. And every once in a while, I have to kind of pay tribute to the once great Lake Chad. Oh, you know, I just love Argentinian wine and their books. They have oh such good gosh. intellectual authors. Have you been there? Sorry, what? I are they don't like each other. Spanish? Oh they don't like goodness. each other. I am so excited to visit a new country. It's... Don't say it. What? I was going to say the Philippines. Oh, shoot. Not okay. China. On Thomas Shoal Island. <laughs> 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 hey, oh. Colombia. How are you? Yeah. Pablo Escobar, right? Hey, cocaine. By the way, Colombia, you talk to Colombia, if you put the U in for the second O, they get mad. Like, way more than you think they would. It's really interesting. And I can, can you teach me some of those bachata moves? So what does <laughs> the fourth stripe stand for on your flag? <sighs> Ooh, yeah, sorry. You know, for someone who talks a lot of shit about Belgium, you guys sure love leaving your country to live there. Come on, come on, oh, you gosh. can be honest. How young really? Well, are. I mean, okay, you can hate it, but still understand that post-colonial Belgian Congo was completely eviscerated with slave labor and, and brutality. I don't blame them. <laughs> those people working in the mines so oh, let me gosh. get this straight serbia has no coastline at all and yet they still do better than you at water polo wait you're cuban you don't play oh, water polo in the ocean cuban food the best and most authentic i ever had was in miami see for oh, this gosh. one i was gonna write something about you guys but i don't know who to address first the guys on the north or the south i mean both of your opinions are legit right turkey. i don't know man i mean your own president got drunk on tv like a hundred times and you guys eat cat food for breakfast it's isn't chechia the highest uh, consumption per capita of alcohol. I remember hearing that. It's just too easy. For the record, I actually do like that cat food stuff. 
the happiest country on earth. I wonder if also being the highest consumer of antidepressants helps with that. You know, it really sure. doesn't help that your country literally win, has win. a crack in the middle of it. I mean, come on, it writes itself. Oh my goodness, Exist I love it's a port. all your baseball players. Roberto Clemente, Ivan Rodriguez, celebrities, so Benicio Del Toro. I mean, J-Lo, nobody can surpass her. I heard the Dominican Sorry, Republic's killing her. Oh, I just, I She's Puerto Rican. Too confused. Really? Uh, Only the Eastern side? Why couldn't you just make the whole island your country? Well, I didn't realize you guys also have part of the Amazon. There's some United States involved with that. Have you heard about that? Kind of being complicit to pretty much a genocide that happened in East Timor. Amazon rainforest, but like not much of it. The rest of it just kind of goes into Northern Peru. And <laughs> hmm, I guess they have more than you. Okay, I'm American and let me lecture you. Okay, the Pharaohs and Cleopatra were black. Okay, uh, todos <laughs> aquí. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, Spain, Argentina, Uruguay, Peru, Dominican Republic. Yep, we got all of them. Hey, Whoa, the they're Korea all just Africa Spain. Doing? So you guys really think- Wait, what do you say? We got all of them. Hey, how's the North Korea of Africa doing? Yeah, I saw that. Uh, who was the video I watched with that? It was like Kraut or who was it that made? Yeah, it was like, yeah, Africa's North Korea. That was interesting because I knew very little about Eritrea, to be honest. And it's nuts. <laughs> So you guys crap? really think you're Nordic? Laser pin? <laughs> Go play with your Baltic siblings. Hey, Swaziland. So aren't you guys basically just Zulus? I mean, you're, you're just you just can't mix them up. Them, right? Are you okay? These little states. Do you need some food? Are you starving? Here, let me play some sad music while recording you. That'll help. Wait. Okay, that was actually... Come on, that's not funny. There's nothing funny about that. Ethiopia, another country torn apart by Cold War politics. There's black people here? I thought you all looked like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Hey, I'm gonna nope. get really close to you and have a very loud public discussion on a bus because I love talking to you Scandinavians. Oh, <laughs> the they're not Scandinavian though. have a toxoplasma gondii parasite in your brain which makes you aggressive. Also, come on, admit it. I know you guys like Italian food more. You know it's bad when you have that Everybody much oil does. and still nobody pays attention to you. Hey, uh -oh. English Senegal. Now, I don't judge, but how does it feel <laughs> knowing that half of your economy is based off of sketchy transactions with British women? Oh man, I oh, heard geez. you guys have some really great caves, including the world's deepest one. Do you want to go there? No. What about the Vardzia Monastery Caves? No? What, what? You don't like caves? Oh, you mean- the How about the home of, of Stalin? What do we got? Oh man, Germany. What are they going to do? No humor. Mustache man. Turkish Republic of Germanistan. No wonder why you guys don't like flying your own flag. Oh. That's another thing to look into uh, as well as the enormous- Population of Turks in uh, in Germany there. Now, Germany has a relationship. Remember back in World War One with the Ottoman Empire? They used to be tight, but yeah. Oh, you guys have the best neighbors, especially that Nigeria guy with all those Afro beats and the Nollywood, the movies and the fashion and the music. It's, you could really learn something from him. Hey, how's that checking uh, account? Did one you of the do the math right? More you productive sure you countries double there. Check? Maybe triple check? You sure you want to check? Hey, it's <laughs> Mr. Ebola. All you do is grow cashews and you're not even number one at it. I like wow, cashews. there's a lot of oil off your coast. You could totally make a lot of money off of it. Why don't you just do that? Oh, I was just reading. Oh, about wait, the... Venezuela coming in. I think they had done that before that. Venezuela, like, talking about, like, annexing Ghana because they just found a massive oil uh, field or whatever um, there. But Guyana can't. They don't have the money to, like, industrialize it. So, like, they don't really know what to do. But all these other countries are going to, like, oh, well, if you're not going to do something, we're coming in. Roaring 20s. Don't you think it would be so great to go back to the 20s, specifically 1920? Don't you think 1920 was such a great year? Who <laughs> careful? Part of Before Europe's you so hard to hold on to. Don't you have to check that app to make sure they're not your cousin? Oh man, I they're really all just want to go to India, the one here in this map right here. Also, can you teach me some Indian words? How do I say I really want to go to Pakistan and watch their amazing cricket matches in Indian? Oh. Man, they just hit all of it. There's not such a thing as Indian language, and man, that cricket. Eh, eh. It's, it's crazy how big cricket is in those countries. It's just like the sport. Oh, have you been to Bali? I love that country. I don't get it. I'm speaking Arabic to you. How come you're not responding? <laughs> okay, okay, war. Do not call Iranians Arabs. Don't even call them Middle Easterners. Okay, they have a very different culture that way and they will not like that very much. Jokes aside, I'd really love to you're visit off you guys. But like, I'm only going to go to Erbil because that's like the only safe place, right? I was going to say, what are you, are you pulling up the, uh, you know, circular city of, of, of Baghdad before it was, you know, toppled there by the freaking Mongols that way? Yeah, maybe. Right. Why, hello, Kawim, hey. Can you pour me a Guinness, oh but no foam? Also, there's a oh. North Ireland? Does that mean this is South Ireland? Okay, I'm going <laughs> to lecture you about your history, okay? First of all, everything started in 1947. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just having my... There's a reason uh, that was the head of the joke. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll just leave okay, that. First there. of all, everything started in 1947. Yeah. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just having my afternoon cappuccino. Also, I really want to make this pasta, You're gonna but break it, it doesn't fit in this pot. You're gonna break I know. It. I'll just do this. I can't. I can't. Do it. Oh, that do is it. Worthy of every death threat. You know, to be fair, it's do not... it every time you break a spaghetti, an Italian, I don't know, collapses really gonna be a shock that there's corruption when your country is literally named after an illegally traded item hey wagwan rastaman hey, hey. how was that no w was that irie <laughs> dude i don't got irie. time to memorize all you guys i'm just gonna call you jamaica one jamaica two jamaica three jamaica four <laughs> i'm gonna be a public nuisance because i know you guys are so timid and non-combative also is there dolphin in this dish oh, so your royal family are descended from him. the prophet muhammad then why does everybody want to assassinate them oh, very geez. nice now i will ride donkey to work borat oh, really you're, that was you're a bad not borat. Masai? oh i thought you guys all were well i mean can you just put on the costume and pretend you're one so i can take a picture i, I really want to say that i met one you know honestly they get mad at you if you Freedom. even call them north korea they prefer dprk so that tells you how they just want to emphasize the democratic people's republic part of it okay you're ignoring all the, the good things about what their country is supposed to be organized as this is hey mr kim we're going through some budget cuts and we're gonna have to lay you off so if you go to the hr department and pick up your Mr. Kim, where'd you go? Why is that window open? That was dark. I'm Korean though, I can make that joke. That's it? Really? Your whole country is basically just like one city? Man, no wonder why Saddam yep. Hussein thought it was gonna be easy. So Oil. like, do you guys still do that thing where you kidnap your brides? Oh my God. Wait, hold on. Easy. So in the flag making competition, somebody was, and someone make that and I made fun of it. I said, it's uh, the uh, Xbox it's on, the, on the button on your Xbox. Look, look. That is their symbol on their flag. I assume it's older than the Xbox logo. Like, do you guys still do that thing where you kidnap your brides? Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> this is so creative. They made a necklace out of bullet casings. Did something happen here? Do you have anything in gold? I, I know you guys like golden triangles. Hey, creepy horror story emo twin girls of Europe. Aw, you lesbians there, are though. great. Wait, what part of oh, South gosh. Africa are we in? Why are they asking for my passport? So like, are you guys done with that war with the naked general guy or is that still going on? So are you guys like- You guys know Liberia was established as a protectorate in the United States as a place where they were, many people in the United States were hoping uh, former slaves would go to and leave the country to go back to Africa. Liberia was supposed to be that place settled. Are still three kind of countries or are you back to being one now? <laughs> yeah, you know it's bad when your number one tourist site is opening up a shelf company. You are literally <laughs> smaller than the Luxembourg province within Belgium. Hmm, what's that smell? Are you cooking something? Oh, it's just another forest burning. Madagascar. They have forest Guys, fire problems? I'm volunteering because I'm such a good person. I'm helping to build this orphanage for these orphans. It's so sad. They have nothing. <laughs> Like and subscribe. Okay, I gotta catch my plane. Ugh. Exactly. Wow, how did you guys learn English so well? I didn't expect that Tourism from a Chinese tube. colony. I am paying oh. top dollar for this bungalow resort. Get me another pina colada. It is very Indian beautiful boy. to Dear visit. He, what is that? Wait, so let me get this straight. I need my passport a second time to visit Timbuktu? Okay, I'm never gonna throw shade on, the, on, on Mali. Timbuktu was one of the most influential, richest places in the entire middle ages and i'll call it that because then you can understand what time period we're talking about while europe was literally just wallowing in their own feces uh timbuktu and mr mansa musa the richest man that's ever lived were thriving at his intellectual capital of wealth and intellectual um achievements and i'll never forget that whoa european arabs also where's the maltesers <laughs> factory so you Malta really didn't abolish history. slavery until 1981? Oh, gosh. Oh, I love how patriotic you guys Africa. are. You're always waving your flag. You love your country so much. So why do you keep trying to leave it? Let's see, English Mexicans, <laughs> communist Mexicans, canal Mexicans, rich Mexicans, Mayan Mexicans, Bitcoin <laughs> Mexicans, everybody owns a gun Mexican. Okay, we all know somebody. Okay, if you're an American, you all know somebody that literally thinks this, that south of Texas, is just Mexico <laughs> all the way to the Tierra del Fuego. It's like, oh, no, I'm actually Honduran. Oh, wait, what part of Mexico is that? Mexicans. Hello, confused Romanians. So, like, <laughs> are there actually any Monacan people or is everybody just like a no. British and Russian and American billionaire? Whoa, yeah, I was just you're joking. Just royalty. You actually eat that? 
and it's Ooh. cooked in what? Hey, wake uh, up. I mean, we'll never forget the Mongols too, right? I know there's basically nothing there. You can see why they went invaded everywhere else. But uh, we'll never forget Chingus, right? Montenegro. Wake up. Man, the stereotypes really are true, I guess. Well, it was really fun visiting your country, but I can't wait to see my next one. Western Sahara. Why are oh. all your famous places in the south? Why don't you focus more on the north? Like uh, what that Cabo Delgado area. I mean, How about having an AK with a bayonet and your flag? What's up there? Isn't it crazy how the Kingdom of Siam became a historical buffer state? Like, they could have chosen any kingdom in the area, but they chose Siam. Siam never got colonized. Man, good for them. Move it out of my way. I just want an exotic photo with those people that have mud in their hair. So your economy <laughs> went from... They have that cool, and maybe has got that, yeah, that cool red clay that's really uh, cool. I heard that's actually a really, like, kind of neat hidden gem tourist destination um, out there. So anyways, Nauru. Isn't that that I just mysterious want an planet? Photo with those people that have mud in their hair. So your economy went from phosphates to inmates. Oh, it's so oh, cool geez. to visit your country. You know, I just got here from India. <laughs> nice it was flag. so cool learning about how Buddhism started there. Hey, oh! Holland, I love your national and best beer, Heineken. I mean, it did oh, start in India. Ich sprechen Deutsch. Because you guys are Dutch, right? <laughs> yeah, anyway, where's Legoland? Dance, monkey. <laughs> do the haka. I know they taught you how to do yeah. it. Do the haka. Do it. Alternatively, if you are Australian, Bah. Now we're pretty cool. Bah. Damn, girl, what sheep. are you on? Like your 20th child? <laughs> <laughs> Don't scam me, Mr. Nigeria. The, the, the country that um, everyone intentionally said wrong when they were a kid. Oh, what are you on? Like your 20th child? <laughs> Don't scam me, Mr. Nigerian prince. Oh, I'm not sending you a Western Union transfer this time. It was a joke. Come on, so, where are you going? Why, why are you running? Does that why, still happen? Why are you running? Why are you running? Hi, confused Bulgarians. Oh, hi, I'm from Minnesota <laughs> and I'm just trying to get back to my roots. Yeah, where can I find that ABBA museum and shop it in Ikea? Oh, and you must be proud Except of that's your all favorite Swedish. soccer player, Michael Laudrup. So I heard you guys are like the chillest, coolest. Oh, <laughs> uh, the worst thing you can do, I have found, because there's a lot of uh, Scandinavian folks in my community is, is at all uh, mistake Norway and Sweden. Holy cow. Arabs that everybody loves, so I'm gonna take advantage of that and assume I can get away with anything. Starting with public indecency. Oh my goodness, <laughs> visiting Jammu and Kashmir was life-changing. I loved it, and the Indian people that were living there were so nice. So, do you guys like still eat your- Kashmir is highly disputed and has been a conflict for decades, even potentially bringing Pakistan and India uh, into war with each other, which scares a lot of people because they're both nuclear powers. Papua New Guinea. Enemies? Bro, you f Wait, what do you say? So, do you guys like still eat your enemies? Bro, you oh, no. f up so bad that you actually got Argentina and Brazil to make an alliance against That's right. you. That's right. <laughs> Where can I find those famous shrunken heads? Yeah, you still do that? Yeah. Also, your food basically tastes like Mexican, but with noodles. Yeah, I guess your karaoke was okay. That sounds good, though. I don't know. I think the Malaysian guy did better, though. Oh, I just <laughs> love visiting these Eastern European countries. It's so crazy that you were part of the USSR. I mean, I get it. You're basically Russians. Oh, I Wow. Poland just doesn't want to be identified as anything other than just Poland, right? Like, even geographically speaking, we're not Eastern Europe. Oh, but we're not, you know, <laughs> we're not Eastern Europe, but what? We're not, like, totally Western European. It's like, can we just, just leave us alone? Which actually makes sense, and the Poles have every right to say that, <laughs> knowing their history. I can't wait to visit your country, but, like, I don't speak any Portuguese. Can I just speak Spanish? I mean, you guys understand it, right? Yeah, it's, like it's the, the same thing. thing. Wait, I'm confused. Can you explain to me again why Saudi Arabia threatened to build a moat around your entire border with them? <laughs> Ooh, I'm Make an island. Suck your blood and read your horoscope. Get it? I was a Dracula gypsy like you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Wallachia for Dracula the win. Roma. <laughs> Nosdrovia. No. Let's shake hands over this doorway and I will assume everything about you based off of either Putin or cheap mail order brides. So you're a Hutu, but he's yep. a Tutsi? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, you mean Dwayne The Rock Johnson is technically not from here, but 220 kilometers to the east? Oh, what a disappointment. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't have time to memorize all you guys. I'm just going to call you all Samoa 1, Samoa 2, Samoa 3, Samoa 4. <laughs> Why don't you guys just join Italy? <laughs> For real. Ooh, can women I gotta look into more than that. San Marino is just basically like a mountain. <laughs> and uh oldest republic right in the world don't they still claim that all right the saudis what are they gonna go for here let's see 
Ooh, can women drive in your country? <laughs> anyway, I'm bored. Finally I'm going to go to Dubai that, right? for a real Arab experience. Oh my goodness, have you <laughs> tried this jollof rice? It's so good. I'm so glad that the Nigerians introduced me to their dish. So, oh, no. where exactly was Nikola that's pretty Tesla good, though. born again? I, I keep forgetting. Wait, oh, who? I so, where exactly was Nikola Tesla born again? I, I keep forgetting. Oh, I love your flag. What gender identity is that? Why, hello, <laughs> British copy and paste version. Flag. That was actually pretty good. That was actually pretty good. Just making fun of their flag. That was actually pretty good. I like that. What one. gender identity? That flag is actually pretty sick. I like that. Identity is that. Why, hello, <laughs> British copy and paste version of Liberia, but it didn't even have independence when it was initiated. Don't mind me. I'm just going to eat this durian on a train and I'm going to spit out my gum before I do it. Also, these people are really forgetful. I keep seeing them leaving like pencils and small items like tissue boxes on the tables. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, finders keepers, right? I'm not following oh, that I one. I love all this Yugoslavak food, but no bacon <sighs> on my potato cheese Jeez. dumplings. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> What's oh, that? Gosh. You want me to do shots of some liquor that was made at your sister's wedding no thank you i only drank margaritas hey austrian <laughs> can we just like just appreciate how chechia and slovakia were able to break apart and not not have it turn into like what happened to yugoslavia thank you all right so we want to be slavs yo i want to be slavs uh you should just had a luka Doncic joke you know, like people know you because of that. But I mean, they're part of, they were part of Yugoslavia, right? Um, yeah. Oh, and a bottle of rum, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> How dare you? Another, another place color. rocked by uh, Cold War politics being torn right between the United States and Soviet Union and has never recovered from. All right, South Africa, we got some apartheid. What do we, there's a lot of things we could be talking about here. What color, we that is racist. Also, I don't think yes. I should leave Cape Town because it's probably too dangerous. Anyway, can you pass me that beef jerky? Oh, I just loved Barcelona and all the places around it. Like, oh my goodness, I understand why it's such a popular place and it probably makes your country a lot of money. I mean, if they wanted to, they probably could just go and do their own thing. <laughs> Wait, you guys. Which is exactly what they've been wanting to for years and years and years. Catalonia. Ooh, Sri Lanka flag's kind of cool. I like the color schemes, kind of. You guys are Buddhist? I thought all Indians were Hindu. But anyway, <laughs> I love all the Buddha statues. I just want to buy a bunch of Buddha statues and decorate my house with them. And when I have a tattoo of a Buddha on my back. So you guys have like twice the amount Not of pyramids works, right? as Egypt, but they get all the attention. Huh? That is true. I mean, I mean, these people came from the, the southern part, which is now Sudan, was in Sudan back then, rather than incorporating the Egyptian kingdom. But yeah, people forget about the Sudan part of Egyptian history. Oh man. All right, you got your independence and you're the youngest country in the world. How are no. things going now? Like, honestly, at this point, why do you even South bother Sudan. speaking Dutch? Like, you already speak English. Just drop it. So, <laughs> I heard you guys are like a third world country now, and I can't even visit Malmö. So, you guys what? say that you're neutral, Malmö. but don't you think it kind of looked more like you were just watching people burn in the past? Ooh, That's true. Can I come in? Or like, are the insurgent militia groups, uh, you know, watching? Complicit. Can, can I come in? Oh my goodness, I loved visiting Samarkand and Bukhara and the tomb of Rudaki. Yeah, that's oh, in I Uzbekistan. Love all those Uzbek sites and learning about turkic culture oh my god guys oh the they messed up all that stuff all the other stands around them they don't get that samarkand one of those places i wish you know people ask me where i could go to back in time samarkand in the silky silk road golden age love to be a part of that mixture of all the cultures and people coming and going from different corners of the world all right tanzania of kilimanjaro here in what was this place called again? Tasmania. No, you have so I will always have a soft spot in my heart for Tanzania. Uh, we had, I had a country report and it was like the first geography report I ever had to do it was an elementary school. And I think the countries were random. I can't remember what it is, but I had Tanzania and I'll never forget that. But I also like the first, I feel like presentation I ever had to give in my life. Such a nice neck. C can I just look at it a little more? Um, maybe can I look at your hands? Meh. I've seen all this in Morocco already. You know, you know. Ooh, ooh, you want this? You want this? You want this? Ooh, ooh, you want this? You want this? <laughs> hey, you? North Korea of Central Asia. Hey, yep, guys. Pretty much. I'm here with pretty this much. Poor child who has nothing, and I'm helping them. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Am I done? Okay, <laughs> get off me. Wait, you guys yeah. have borscht here too? Fake. 
Oh my goodness, that's Empathy. my favorite Russian dish. You know, oh, you guys are man. so similar. It's so the war is going on. Exactly how did all those buildings get built so fast? Oil how is it and that you invented all corruption. these sports, but you never seem to win the World it's Cups so true. of these sports? Anyway, See, they hate not that. speaking German, you're welcome. <laughs> Ooh, and this tea is cold. I'm going to microwave it. Eh, let's see. You're fat, <laughs> you're stupid, your healthcare system is all messed up, you have school shootings. Uh, yeah, we've already heard all those and we've already responded. Anyway, we know you're already obsessed with us. We have not responded. thinking about us because you keep trying to immigrate to our country. We have too many now anyway. Get out. I'm American and I am denouncing my citizenship for another. Oh, what one? America is the land of opportunity. How dare you leave? Hey, que paso, cisplatina? Provincia rebelde. Hey, Persian wannabe Turks. Those are some <laughs> beautiful cotton fields. Man, just makes They're you right. want to pick some of it off, right? Make, you, you want to pick some cotton? Hey, Venezuela, look. It's one dollar. Ooh, ooh, you could buy a whole house with this guy. Yeah, oh, you, you want it, you want it? economic political oh, I love all these chaos. Chinese buildings and Chinese characters all over the place. I mean, you guys speak a dialect of Chinese, right? Okay, Vietnam's pretty much Vietnam. Develop an identity of not China because their whole history was defending themselves against Chinese uh, pressure and repeatedly defeating them. The, Vi the Vietnamese are the, the goats of, of fighting against them, all right? Right? So you're when they want to fight just against, the not kid the ally. Arab world, right? So you'll oh, trash what do you say? Chinese, right? So you're basically just the emo kid of the Arab world, right? So you'll trash on your mm. white population, unless if they win you a gold medal, and then suddenly you'll call them a daughter of Zimbabwe. Oh, wait, you're not Zimbabwe? I thought, well, who, who are you then? And there you go. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. <laughs> Final thoughts. All right, they put a lot of work into that. There was a lot of insults going on in there. They went pretty fast there. So what did you guys think of the video? It was fun to watch. Hopefully you can keep a sense of humor about it and laugh at yourselves. All right, with that, we'll see y'all later. Bye.